All right, guys. First thing you're gonna want is to get the soul protectors. I got these off eBay for like $15 with free shipping. And it came with these alcohol pads and then the traction pads. Everything you're gonna need to protect your icy bottoms. All right, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the alcohol pads and uh, clean the bottom of the shoes. Uh, I highly recommend you put these sole protectors on as soon as you get your shoes, like brand new. Um, and then you're gonna wanna make sure, even if they're brand new, you're gonna wanna clean them still because there's gonna be like some lint and just some small dust particles. You wanna get as much as you can off, that way the uh, material adheres to the soles as good as it can. Um, I don't know how this would work if you didn't have dead stock shoes, um, but I'm sure it would work. Uh, I'd probably just recommend getting like some rejuvenator brushes or something and do like a really good deep clean and then try that out. So now I'm just gonna uh, go on the back side of these sole protectors uh, where it's like paper material. And I'm just gonna trace an outline of the shoe. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact. You're gonna kind of wanna go a little bit bigger than the shoe actually is and then you can really trim it down to like a perfect size later. Uh, and then you're just gonna wanna cut these out. All right, so now I'm gonna uh, take my cutout sole protector of the shoe. I'm just gonna lay it on our fresh, clean, icy bottom right here. Uh, it is kind of loose and hard to play with, but uh, see, you, right here, you're just gonna wanna take it and uh, make sure it is perfectly fit with the shoe. Some spots are gonna kinda be a little big and like they might run off onto like the white part of the sole, but depending on how well you can do the tracing, it might not matter for you. All right, and now's the fun part. Uh, we get the heat gun. I got this one from the hardware store for like $19, super cheap again. Uh, this can be a great investment for future shoes that you get with icy bottoms or even just some like really nice shoes that you have that you wanna protect. But uh, see, now you're just gonna wanna take this. And uh, I just did the whole entire shoe first. Uh, just to kind of like soften the material and then kind of start get specific in certain areas and then you can really uh, start to see it kind of start taking shape of the uh, shoe itself just like a good technique to use get like a wet uh, rag or something like that and just kind of like roll it and like kind of use your knuckles and just roll into like the corners and the grooves of the shoe um, I wouldn't be too too aggressive with it. I mean it is kind of strong material. It's supposed to not rip on concrete Just be careful with it And then right here, we're just gonna take these traction pads that they give you. They do kind of suck. Uh, they're really not that grippy. Like you can pretty much slide on grass with these shoes. I've already tried it. Um, but if you have like clear grip tape for a skateboard or something like that, I definitely recommend using that as well. But these still do help. All right, we're all done. This is about like a $1,500 pair of shoes. That's gonna be protected from the concrete. You can wear this shoe, you can uh, keep it on the shelf, it's gonna prevent it from getting yellow, and it's gonna hold its value much more than if you were just to go wear these shoes. Well, that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. Watch out for some future content, and uh, let me know what kind of shoes you guys are about to be protecting with these uh, sole protectors. Alright, peace.